My name is Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. I'm gonna eat them all right now. No, I'm really not. Uh, but I have a very interesting video today. Uh, Clayton Hollingsworth grew those peppers, sent them to me. Thank you, Clayton. Um, I, the other day I thought I ate all of the Prima Tales, the chocolate ones. Found a chocolate Prima Tale. So I was going through these, a lot of these stickers came off the peppers. So a, the, a very small percentage of them have a sticker. Most of them don't. So I, want, I found the chocolate Prima Tale. This one doesn't, I don't need a sticker to tell you what this one is. Just, just chocolate Prima Tale. Um, but I don't, I didn't have, I wanted to, I'm just searching through to see what I had. And I found this. 13. It's, Car it's Carolina Reaper. So, I have what a lot of people think is the highest pepper in the world. What a book thinks. And I have this. Another guy created this. Another guy created this. It's not about the guys. It's not about the people. It's about these peppers. I have no skin in the game. I don't care who grows the highest pepper. You know what I want to do. Come on, tell me. I want to eat the hottest peppers. So, I'm going to compare these two. I'm going to compare the the reigning champ, Carolina Reaper. It's not the hottest pepper, people. Compare it to this. Now I'm going to do the, uh, the, the Reaper first. Let me cut the... Ah. <sighs> Actually. All right, so here's the uh, Carolina Reaper cut in half. All right, pretty symmetrical. A vein running up both sides all the way, mostly to the tip and branching off. Pretty small placenta, not, not too small placenta. Actually, you know what, for a Reaper, that's a ton of seeds for a Reaper. I don't know if you can tell, all back there. And if you look, all... Up in there, the whole thing is just solid. That's a lot of seeds. Uh, so that's the reaper. And then here, look at how oily this thing is. <laughs> you see the glistening, shiny? Chocolate Prima Tale. All right, so what do you think of reaper first? Thank you, Clayton. By the way, good morning. I'm Johnny Scoville. This is JC. Fruity. What an interesting... <laughs> So here's what happened. It was probably the most fruity reaper. It was that was really good tasting. It was fruity, uh, a little bit of a floral, which is a flowery kind of bouquet, kind of just a floral. It was, it was floral with a little bit of bitter. Then the bitter faded away, and the fl the floral hung on. But it was really a great pepper. That was the probably the best reaper I've ever tasted. Is what it is. The burns in my throat. I'll be giving you just a moment to build. If you're brand new at eating peppers, uh, let's say some, uh, Jamie, the guy, if you've seen recently, I ate a pepper with a guy at work uh, that was working next door to us, nice guy. But if he and I were staying side by side and I, you know, I ate it and he ate it, the, the difference would be so much, you know, 
he wouldn't be tasting the things that I'm tasting. You know what I mean? It would just be hot. I'm tasting fruity and just lovely pepper. All right, so uh, he also would take 10 minutes to peak. I'd peak in five and be back down to zero in another five. So with me, a total of 10 minutes, I'm back to baseline. But if some, if, so if you're new at it, it'll take a lot longer to climb. It'll take a lot longer to come down where, for me, I'm up and down pretty quickly. <clears throat> 10 all, you know, it's, it's no point in giving it a rating for a non-chili head. A non-chili head, see, you better get some help. It's a hot pepper. Chili head, nine, eight, nine to 10 all day. So here, on the, on the Carolina Reaper created by Ed Curry, this from Pucker Butt, this is the Prima Tali created by Chris Saunders. Um, he's a grower out in the UK, across the seven pot Primo, the yellow Fatali. Here we go. That was a weird pepper. It was very, very earthy, nothing fruity about it. And that pepper had a sweetness to it. That started up front and kept carried through almost the entire way and faded. Very hot. You know, it's burning my throat. Not so much here or here, but right in here. Wow. Now, I just ate 12 of them the other day, so eating one of them is not that big a deal. But it's, it's definitely substantially hotter than the first one. It just is. Screaming hot pepper. But man, that's lovely. A little bit of smokiness on that one, too. So just totally different pepper flavor profiles. Couldn't be more further apart. But super tasty. Now the heat on the second one, you know, it's, a, it's just hotter, it just is. And the weird thing is this, it's hotter right away. Like, it's kind of shockingly hotter. I'm gonna give it just a second to build, see how hot it's gonna go. Cause now I have the heat of two peppers in me and not one. So I got a few other really good ones in here. I'm not sure what this one is. Peach something. Here's an interesting pepper. This looks more like a ghost pepper than the pepper that was on that Campbell soup thing. Here is a very interesting pepper that I'm really excited to eat. That's a Remert pod. Created by my friend Jeff Remert. Beast of a pepper. Can't wait to eat that. We're going to wrap it up. I hope you guys have a great day. More pepper reviews coming later. A couple more unique ones. I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison again. In the description box, you'll see all the normal stuff. There's the pepper. Click it when you do your riding with me. If you don't want to miss a video, don't. Click the bell for notification. You'll see a drop box. Uh, just select all that visit us a lot too on Miss Avery. Get your uh, bus pass. It's $4.99. If you do that, you'll see 100 extra videos. One of my worst challenges ever, eating a dozen of those chocolate primatales. It's in the bus pass right there. Uh, Tommy Scoville's channel, The Lifeboat. Listen, that's a channel about sobriety and, and, and beating an addiction and changing your life for the better. It's a pretty cool thing. Um, so if you or somebody you know has a problem with any sort of addiction, I urge you to go over here. You don't even just, here's what I would suggest you do. It's a live channel. So every video is live, interactive. Although you don't have to interact. Show up, lurk. Just lurk. One or two uh, videos. It's helping so many people. Life's too short to be stuck on something. Get some help. Right there, more videos. Hey, I'm Johnny Scoville. 
and this was Chase the Heat.